welcome to The Perfect Match, the game show that puts a couple of knives to the test. I'm your host, Al Townsend. Are you ready to meet our couples? <laughs> our first couple is Ben and Courtney. How you guys doing? Good. Mm -hmm. Glad to have you guys on the show. Thank you. Want to tell me a little bit about yourself? My name's Courtney. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm a student at Rider University, a uh, sophomore majoring in communications. What about you, Ben? My name is Ben Bohm, and I used to live in Ethiopia, now I live in Jersey. I'm a communications major, and I'm a junior. How, and how did you two meet? Well, actually, it's a funny story. I kind of banged into Courtney's car the other day, and we got together. And how long have you guys been together? About a week or so. <laughs> <laughs> Our second couple is on Donnie, and I'm Carla. How you guys doing? Good, hi. Come here, come here. Tell me a little about yourself. My name's Carla. I'm from Hamilton, New Jersey. I'm a junior at Rider University, and I major in advertising. What about you, Don? My name's Donnie. I'm from uh, Edison, New Jersey, and I'm a junior at Rider University with a psychology major. How'd you, how'd you two meet? Uh, one night I was having uh, trouble in the laundry room in my dorm, and I didn't really know how to work the machines, so she came over and helped me, and ever since then, it just clicked. Yeah, because you got to find a girl that can do laundry for you, man. Tell me about it. I know. Whew. Our third <laughs> couple is, is on Robert and on Allison. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Glad to have you on the M show. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. All right. Why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? My name is Allison. I'm a junior at Rutgers. I studied marine science, and I'm from uh, Tom's River. What about you, Rob? My name is Rob, and I play hockey for Philadelphia Sam. And how did you two couples meet? Met at a party at Rutgers. I knew some of his friends, and they introduced us, and been together ever since then. And you, you just knew? You guys just knew? Was there anything that just made you want to uh, be with her? When I put the puck in the net, yeah. Oh, <laughs> How long have you, have you guys been together? <laughs> like two years. <laughs> All right. After this quick break, we'll, be, we'll uh, come back and we'll uh, ask some questions. Tired of going to the movies or just hanging around and you're looking for something different to do? Well, we're looking for a few good couples who want to strut their stuff and let everyone know they're the perfect match. If you and your mate want to be contestants on our show, please call us at 1-800-55-MATCH. That's 1-800-55-M-A-T-C-H. For those of you just tuning in, I'm going to be asking you six questions, three of which are multiple choice and the other three are fill-ins. Are you ready? Okay, Courtney, the first question. If your sex life were a track meet, would your boyfriend be a sprinter, a distance type runner, or a marathon man? Be a marathon man. Why wow, he can he can go that that full nine yards. Yep. All right, all right. <laughs> Carla, if your sex life were a track meet, who would your man be? A sprinter, no distance type runner, or a marathon man? He would definitely be a marathon man. He can also go the full nine yards. Yeah. All, all four quarters. He can. All right, Allison. If your sex life were a track meet, what would your man be? A sprinter, middle distance type runner, or a marathon man? I'd say middle distance type runner. Why, he can't perform? Yeah, you know, it depends on how much he drank during the night. <laughs> so the more he drinks, the longer he can oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Courtney, if your boyfriend's body was a globe and you were a world traveler, which hemisphere would he say you don't visit as often as he like? North, south, east, or west? He would definitely say the south. Why? Uh, he's picky like that, and I'm not real big into that, so he would say the same. <laughs> but uh, I, every man likes that. No. Well, well. <laughs> All right. Carla, if your boyfriend's body was a globe and you were a world traveler, which hemisphere would he say you would visit as often as he would like? North, south, east, or west? Definitely the south. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you just like Courtney. Yep. All right. Allison, if your boyfriend's body was a globe and you were a world traveler, which hemisphere would he say you would visit as often as he would like? I have to agree with these girls here, South. It seems to me that all the men are the same. Well, you know, usually they are. <laughs> don't give, you don't get. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney, was it love at first sight, or did you have to take a second look? Love at first sight. Definitely. Yep, definitely. You didn't see somebody else that you thought you would rather be with? No, nope, just him. Bent quite your eye? Sure did. From a distance? <laughs> Not very far. <laughs> <laughs> Color was it love at first sight, or did you need a second look? Love at first sight. You knew Don was the one? I knew. All right. Allison, love at first sight? Yep, love at first, first sight. Love at first sight, too? All right, all right. All right. So, so this, I mean, it's so difficult, and you, you might feel a little bit embarrassed about what I asked to you, but uh, just hang in there. Courtney, where's your favorite place to have sex? 
My favorite place? Your favorite place is that stuff. In the shower. In the shower. Yep. Well, I like to have two bodies. It's all soaked up, slippery, and nice. Yep. All right. Carla, where's your favorite place to have sex? It had to be traditional and go with the bed. Old school? Old school. Old school. <laughs> Those pads on the bed, yeah. the candlelight. Exactly. Allison, where's your favorite place to have sex? I'm going to have to say my car with the top down. Well, your car. Why Why is your car? Is there any significant reason why it's in your car? It's more risky and... Uh, oh, you're, you're one of the risky type girls? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Courtney, if you can change one thing about him, what would it be? The way he dresses. From the way he dresses? He looks fine to me right now. Nice bright green shirt, black pants, nice Tim's. He know? doesn't usually dress like that. He wears sweatpants and a sweatshirt or a t-shirt. But what's wrong with that? You know what I mean? Maybe he just likes like, like being comfortable, like laid looks back. Looks like a slap sometimes, though. But I'm saying, if, if he's comfortable, why is, it, why is it a big problem? It's not a big problem. It's just if I could change one thing, that would be it. Does he go in public normally like, like that? Does it embarrass you? Yeah, he doesn't embarrass me, but you would rather I would prefer him to be dressed. Looking like me. Look, you look great. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I have to agree with you on that one, too. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, if you could change one thing about him, what would it be? If I had to change one thing, it would have to be his height. But that's because I think it bothers him, because when I wear high shoes, he always tells me that he'd rather me wear lower shoes, because I'm like taller than him sometimes. So. See, most, the, most of the women that I deal with are shorter than me, and they always say that they feel a little bit reassured, that they can look up to me. I'm, you know what I mean? I'm pre pretty big, yeah. I and mean, I can protect them. Do you feel that way too? You... Yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, so if there's one thing you can change about Rob, what would it be? Definitely his ego. Why? He's a little uh, conceited, Rob, I'm um, the cool guy. <laughs> the deal. Rocky, hockey Gets on my nerves. <laughs> All right. This is the sixth question. This last question in, in this round. Courtney, what's the most romantic thing he's done for you? Yeah, Ben's not a real roman romantic guy and everything, but I'd have to say just he would come and take me out to dinner and a movie. What kind of dinner would like? Where would we take you guys? What's the ideal date for you guys? I eat like Italian. So, so anything, any, Italian, anything Italian, yep. Like an Olive Garden, something yep, like that. Yep, I love the Olive Garden. You love the Olive Garden? <laughs> I like the Olive Garden. I, I take my girl there sometimes, <laughs> when the money's right. <laughs> Carla, what's the most romantic thing you've done for you? I have to say, when he picked me flowers, and he was in the car behind me, and we were at a stoplight, and he ran the, the flowers to me and gave them to me through my window. So you would say he's an original Don Juan? Yeah. Don Juan DeMarco? <laughs> he sounds like he's the man. <laughs> Allison. What's the most romantic thing he's done for you? Well, I'm going to agree, Rob, so like Ben, I guess. Not real romantic, but same thing. Brought me a couple flowers, took me out to dinner and a movie. Right. Well, it seems like from what you three ladies have said that Courtney's man and Allison's man, you need to take some pointers from Don. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, after a quick commercial break, we're going to bring the men out. Just when you thought it wasn't possible to travel through time, Are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? Join Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd as they go. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Back to the future. Welcome back to Perfect Match. Man, your girlfriends have answered some questions, and now we're going to see how well you know them by telling us what you think their, their answers were. The first two questions I asked were multiple choice. The last three are villains. Are you ready? Ben, I asked Courtney if your sex life were a track meet, what would you be? A sprinter, a no distance type runner, or a marathon man? What did Courtney say? Well, I know she likes to call me her Mandingo warrior, so it must be a marathon man. Marathon man? I said marathon man. Bye bye. All right, Don. I asked Carly if your sex life were a track meet. What would you be? A sprinter, a little distance type man, or a marathon man? What would I call it say? I would say I was a uh, marathon man. I said marathon man. You're done? You're done? All right. All right, guys. You're done? Let me rob. I asked Allison, if, you were, uh, if your sex life were a track meet, what would you be? A sprinter, a little distance type runner, or a marathon man? What did she say? Uh, she probably said middle distance, but that could change if I drank a lot of beer, so I don't know. Middle distance? Yeah. Yep. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are 
It seems like you guys know your uh, women pretty good, you know what I mean? But uh, we got five more questions to go. A lot can change in five questions. Ben, <laughs> right. I asked Courtney, if your body was a globe and she was the world traveler, which hemisphere would she say you don't, that she, you don't visit as much as uh, you would like? North, south, east, or west? What did she say? No one heard she probably said south. I said south. All right, all right. Now, I asked Carla, if, if your body was a globe and she was a, a world traveler, which hemisphere would you say she has a visit as often as you would like? North, south, east, or west? I have to go with south. I uh, said south. All right. Allison. Right, I asked Allison if, you, if your body was a, a globe and she was a world traveler, which hemisphere would you say she'll visit as much as you want? North, south, east, or west? Probably south, like all the women in the world. <laughs> oh. South. It seems to be like uh, <laughs> you're waving up doing what, do what you want them to do. Maybe I'm doing what they want them to do. I asked Courtney, is it love at first sight or did you get a second look? she say? She definitely said love at first sight. Definitely. You're 100% positive? 100%, man. All right. Courtney? I said love at first sight. All right. Now, love at first sight, or did you need a second look? Love at first sight. I said love at first sight. Wow. Mm -hmm. I asked Allison, was it love at first sight, or did she need a, a second look? What she said? Uh, definitely love at first sight. Definitely? Of course. Love, love at first, first sight. sight. All right. <laughs> It's a little tough, but I want you guys to hang in there. I, I have faith in y'all. Then, I asked Courtney, where's her favorite place to have sex? What did she, she say? One of my favorite places is in the butt. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know for this, for this place, she probably said the shower. Why? Because this is so much fun doing in the shower. Just what, the two bodies all nice and slippery? When you're, sweat, when you're sweating and the shower just hits you. And the soap and everything soap. nice and slippery. And when she's been, I, I can't, I can't <laughs> the shower, I want to get into it, but come on, see the shower. I said the shower. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Where's the favorite place to have sex at? Three feet. Man, I'm going to have to go with public place. Anywhere. You know what, I'll go with the, I'll go with the shower, too. No. I send the bed. Uh, 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 why, would you, why would you say uh, a shower too? Man? I don't know. I don't know. Is that what you like it the most? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Rob, where's your favorite place to have sex? Mm. I'm kind of a freak. I can't really say where my favorite place is, but I think the answer is in her car with the top down. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. That question, it was, it was a, little, a little racy, but it, it, it was cool. All right. The fifth question is, um, Ben, if she could change one thing about you, what would it be? Well, it could be a couple things. She complains a lot. But the one thing I think she and probably all, everybody I talk to complains about is that I need to really dress better. Wow. Cause I'm, I'm just like a slob, not like a slob dress. I like to dress down all the time, sweatpants, whatever. So you just chilling with your boy. Just chilling with my people mm. all the time. She wants me to dress up. So probably dress better. Looking, looking, looking like me. Looking like you. You know what I mean? You look like Regis. I can't. I ain't gonna argue. I see you're hot because you're sweating. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said I wish he would dress better. No, <laughs> no. Uh, if there's one thing she can change about you, what would it be? Um, that would definitely be my being indecisive. Can't make a decision. Um, <laughs> I said it's right. She thinks she's really short, dog. Uh, yeah, no, I said that about her. She's saying when uh, she wears heels, she, you know, you look up uh, to her. Yeah, I know. Mini me, aren't you? Wow. What's the one, what's the one thing uh, she would change about you? Mm. I to listen to her when she talks, because I just tune her out. <laughs> no. I've been doing. I said your ego. Because <laughs> you're so Mr. Cool Rob. <laughs> Mr. Hockey, you fuck, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I asked her, what was the most romantic thing you've done for her? What she said you did. Well, I'm not really into that romantic stuff, because I'm no cupcake, but, um, 
the most romantic thing I've done was wash a car. Wash your car? How is that romantic? <laughs> hey, my that's really romantic. Well, with, with the suds and the hose? The suds and the hose and stuff. You know, I always leave the other things, so that's uh, romantic to me. Uh, we won't get into that right now because we don't have that much time. Which, which well, that's not very romantic. I said that he takes me out to dinner and to movies and stuff. <sighs> well, yeah, that, that's real romantic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the, the most romantic thing you've done for? Um, nothing good here. I'm going to say. <laughs> wrote a poem? Wrote a poem. Wrote a poem. Pick me flowers and ran them to my car. <laughs> Nah, you two are struggling, though. What's going on? I mean, you know, one word and shit, a paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were Don Wilder. Oh, man. You know? More like Don Coyote. <laughs> <laughs> right, what's the most amazing thing you've done for her? Uh, uh, made a bed or something. Like <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, what'd you say? I don't, like, I don't like her too much right now. <laughs> <laughs> I said dinner and flowers. I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like there's a, uh, uh, things that these two couples on the right need to uh, talk about and uh, get out in the open. We got counseling for you guys after the show. Uh -huh. If you guys need to sit down and talk to uh, somebody. But it seems like uh, Ben and Cody are in the um, league. Um, after a uh, quick break, we'll come back and uh, tally up the M score. If you think you and your mate are the perfect match, maybe you'd like to be a contestant on our show. For information on reservations, please call 1-800-55-MATCH, that's 1-800-55-MATCH, or register online at www.perfectmatch.com. Welcome back to Perfect Match. During the break, we tied up the scores. So far, the winner is Ben and Courtney with 45, Robert Allison with 25, and Donnie and Carla with 15 points. We sent the girls away. So now we can ask the guys a few questions. Y'all guys ready? Yeah. Make sure y'all ready. Shoot. All right. All right, Ben. What does Courtney need most? A manicure, pedicure, or a facial? Well, um, mother really didn't, doesn't need anything done to her, but if she had to get anything done, I'd have to say her nails, so she had to get a manicure. Why? I don't know. She likes to get her nails done, so her feet are, like, cute and stuff like that. So. She has cute feet? Yeah, she does. My girl got cute feet, too. I know. I have eagle talent, so I'm not going to uh, show you my feet. Uh -huh. I don't want to see your feet. We got a little kids probably watching the show. We you don't scare them. Yeah, I got hockey <laughs> foot. <laughs> All right, Don. What does Carla need most? Manicure, pedicure, or facial? I'm not really sure what they do, but I know she's always breaking her nails, so I'm going to go with manicure. All right, all right. You like your girl with nice nails, though? Yeah. To scratch you all up in the fight. <laughs> that, that's, but that's, that's not good if you guys fight around, though. It's not good. Right, what does the Allison need more? A manicure, a pedicure, or a facial? <laughs> Definitely a pedicure. Why? She's got nasty feet. Well, what do her feet look like, Rob? Right? Describe to the eyes what her feet look like. Because <laughs> we don't see them like, like you do. She got like, you ever see like a chicken foot? <laughs> <laughs> you, know how, you know how like a two come out and a one goes back? <laughs> she got kind of like that, but the toenails are like that long and they're like, they're covered in boots. <laughs> so she got some pretty hideous feet? Yeah, I make her keep her socks on when we, you know. Doing, doing stuff. <laughs> she keep shoes she might scratch you all up. I keep shoes on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, question number two. What is your girlfriend wearing right now, Ben? Thongs, bikini, or is she going commando? <sighs> well, she will go commando. That's kind of, it's kind of wild, but um, I like thongs, you know. Like thongs. Thongs, yeah. Thongs. Like the, yeah. Cisco song, like that thong song. Yeah, the thong song. I'm not. You can relate to that. Not can relate to it. Yeah, I'm feeling it. She doesn't have the ghetto booty, but. I'm feeling the thong. All right. Don, what's Carla wearing right now? Thongs, bikinis, or is she going commando? I'm also feeling the thongs. You, you, you like the thongs, like the easy access? Yeah. Uh, I feel like you. <laughs> I love, I, buy my, I go to Victoria's Secret, buy my girl all types of thongs, different colors, leopards, see-through, uh, you lay right on for a lace, everything. Yeah, I get edible ones. You, you like edibles too? Mm. Yeah, the one that tastes like grape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, what's Allison wearing? Thongs, bikini, or is she, or is she going commando? I uh, really don't care, but yes, uh, probably bikini. Bikini? Yeah. She's not a thong girl? She is. I don't really like her to wear that, though. Why? Hmm. She don't got the right body for it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This should, when these women come out, oh, this should, this should get real heated up now, boys. 
we got to tighten up security. I'm not happy. I'm, I'm not, not happy. happy. No, I'm not happy with the way we're asking around. Right? No, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry. really sorry. sorry. Yeah, guys? We don't mean any, any harm. We don't. I want you guys to know, I'm not here to try to break you guys up. I'm trying to make your relationship stronger. So you guys find weaknesses that you guys can work on and build your relationship as long as possible. All right, so don't, please don't get mad at me or my staff, please. Hey, thanks, Dr. Ruth. <laughs> All right, third question. Describe your girlfriend's jealousy level. Is she passive Patty, jealous Julie, or psycho Susie? She's definitely jealous Julie. Wow. Uh, she's not real psycho, but, you know, she gets a little irritated sometimes. Wow. What do you do to that, that can make her do this? I, you know, I see myself. I don't do anything wrong. Ever. Of course, because you're a man. Everything's right in our eyes, right? Yeah, well, I'm a man. Yeah, just don't, just they still understand right. it, so she's definitely jealous, Julie. I'm, I'm really feeling you, dog. I'm, I'm feeling you too, dog. All right, Don. Describe your girlfriend's jealousy level. Passive Patty, jealous Julie, or psycho Susie? I'm going to go with passive Patty, is it? Passive Patty. Why passive she Patty. Don't, she doesn't really care what you do. Nah. So you could have a bunch of girls in your in your room and she'll trust you? Yeah, definitely. You wouldn't do anything? Yeah. Your love is that strong? Yeah, I'd have to say so. Hey, that's, that's sweet. That's sweet. All right, Rob. Well, this, this, <laughs> this, 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 this should be good, dog. <laughs> Describe Allison's jealousy level. Passive Patty, Jealous Julie, or Psycho Susie? She's like a mix between Jealous towards Jealous Julie, Julie. and Psycho Susie. <laughs> wow. She's like both of them. So what would you say more? If you, if you had to pick one out of, out of these three, which would it be? Psycho. <laughs> psycho? <laughs> Definitely Psycho. <laughs> She's crazy. Uh, Question number four, man. If she wasn't with you, which one of your friends is most of her type? Would she mess with first? I have a couple guys in mind, but I think this, one of my sweet mates, Alvin, she probably mess with him. Wow. Tell me about Alvin. You know, he's a, he's a cool guy. He's kind of he's a little roughneck guy. He, uh, a thug. He's a thug. You know, he likes to wear sweatpants like I do, so he doesn't really shower much, so that may turn on too, so I don't know. Oh, so he, she goes for them, like, rough neck, dirty guys. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't shower today, so. Oh, you didn't shower today? Yeah, because I knew I'd be sweating on these lights. Uh, so right. there's no point wasting bar soap. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> All right, Di. If she wasn't with you, which one of your friends would she get with first? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm going to go with. Maybe my right friend. Here. My friend. Brian, maybe? Brian who? Absol. I Brian Absol, why? Well, what would you say would I'm not really sure. turn her on about Absol? Describe Absol for all because we don't know Absol. I mean, we're just uh, He's kind of like me, I guess. Uh, same same type of kid. Uh, is he in, in, in school? Uh, not right now, he's not. Uh, what happened? <laughs> He took the semester off. Uh, well, he just wants to work to work and make uh -huh. some money. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, that's cool. School's not for everybody, you know what I mean? When I was in college, I, I didn't think it was for me. But then, you know, I mean, you had to buckle down, you know what I mean? So, man, it's not for everybody. Rob, if she wasn't with you, which one of your friends would she get with first? Uh, I'd like to say Johnny Lawrence. Why? Describe Johnny Lawrence for us. This kid got like a, you know, he got kind of a pointy nose. <laughs> He's always around. He never leaves. He's still here. Like Johnny's he's still out there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're real close. I don't understand why. Like you know, she wanted to take him to a wedding and stuff because I couldn't go. I said you know she could go with him because I don't really care. But I don't know. <laughs> so he's just that guy that's always. Yeah, he's just that guy. He's got that guy jacket, silver, <laughs> silver chain. Does his hair like a wrestler. See, he's that guy. Uh, oh, goodness gracious. I can't wait to hear these women when they come out. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, babe. If you could take one of her belongings and put it on the highway in a box that said hit me on it, what would it be? Oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I don't know. She's really into all her clothes. Like, all her clothes. I would take all her clothes and just throw it in a box. Why? She's obsessed with her clothes. She got mad clothes. Mad right? clothes, man. I had to throw them in the box. Just take them to the highway. Does she buy clothes that she, that she hasn't yeah, even worn? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, our girls do that. My girls is just the same way. Why are girls like that? Wasted my money. You know, I'm trying yeah, to go to the bar. You're winning, right? Yeah, I'm out working. And I'm trying to go to the bar. Where's my money at? On some new shirt. That she hasn't even worn yet. Exactly. That's too tight. That doesn't, it doesn't work out, yeah. so. That, that hurts me. Yeah. That really hurts. All right, Don. If you could take one of her belongings and put it on the highway in a box that, that said hit me, what would it be? Um, I'm going to have to say picture 
of her ex-boyfriend. In her room, she has like a little picture, and I'm gonna go with that. Why does she have a picture of her ex-boyfriend? Yeah, what's up with that? No, it's just like, I don't know, it's like in this collage thing, or whatever. I don't know. If my girlfriend did that, oh, there would be a lot of problems, dog. No, uh, it's... What, does she still think about her ex-boyfriend? No, 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 not at all, it's just a little picture in like a collage, and I don't know. She doesn't even know that I don't, I don't know, maybe she won't get that one, but... Damn, she's uh, like, you're a passive Pete, huh? Alright, Riley, there's one thing you can take a her belongings and put it on the highway in a box. That's it hitting you, what would it be? Her mouth. <laughs> her mouth? Mm -hmm. Watch her, she has a small she, mouth. She just never shuts up and she's always complaining about something to me, so. so she's that girl that just won't shut up? Kinda, yeah. She's been lately. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, I'm getting real tired of it. Real tired of it. Real tired of it. Real tired of it. <laughs> real tired of it. <laughs> Just try to get away for a little bit, take a little vacation. <laughs> Probably. Fuck yeah. <laughs> you with me, man. <laughs> she was like, we, we uh, made a couple friends right here. Yeah. Uh, All right, Ben, this is the sixth question. Just tell me, what was your last argument about? What I was going to wear to the show today. What did you want to wear to the show today? Sweatpants, a hat, a, a guinea tee, just, just and some Tim's. Just to chill out, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah. Just to chill, some sunglasses. That's all I wear, yo. I wear it every day. All I, wasn't, day. I wasn't trying to dress up. Jeans, I'm burning up. <laughs> my legs are... This could be my leg. I don't, I don't know anymore. <laughs> that's, how, that's how dark I'm getting. You know, I don't, I don't feel this at all. All right, Dad, what was your car last argument about? My last argument was... I'm going to say me taking too long to get ready. When, today? No, nah, yesterday. Why? What was so big about yesterday? Um, she was kind of in a rush, and I was taking a while, like, well, to you gotta get, get like, ready. Get your hair done, you yeah. shave, and iron your, you, you iron your own clothes? Uh, actually, sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah. Okay, all right. So you're, you're just like me. I mean, I, I take a, a long time to dress, but I'm beautiful. So I, I, I look really good. You know? <laughs> I feel well. You feel me? <laughs> Thank you, dog. I'm taking you, too. All right, man. Send me right, up after right, the right. show. All right, all right. Rob, what were you going to ask the last argument about? Well, the exact opposite of him. She was taking too long on the way here today. Yeah. It was like four, four, it was like four twenty, and she, she had just, uh, she just like got out of bed. So I started screaming at her. And she, she's, I hate it when makes me mad. Like she, I'm always having to wait for her. Because I just go out like this, you know. Yeah. I wear the same clothes every day, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got a single outfit, do her head and his makeup. I got time for that. That takes forever, right? Mm -hmm. You just want to go that can you get up and go? Mm -hmm. A natural beauty, huh? A mm -hmm. natural beauty. I, I'm feeling you. I'm really feeling you. All right. Now we're going to bring the, the um, girls back out and hear what they have to say. Today's first place winners will win a trip to sunny Florida with all expenses paid by Perfect Match. The winners will stay at the Doubletree for five days and four nights. And today's second place winners will be playing for his and her mountain bikes. Welcome back. Let's see how these couples did. All right, ladies. I asked your boyfriend six questions, three multiple choice, and three fill-ins. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. All right, Courtney. I asked Ben, what do you need most? Manicure, pedicure, or a facial? What do you have to say? My brother said I didn't need anything, but if he had the answer, I'd probably say manicure. How dog, I said manicure. Yeah, all right, all right. One for one. All right, Carla. I thought, what do you need more? Manicure, pedicure, or a facial? What did he say? Since he says I always bite my nails, I think he said manicure. Uh, how dog, I too said manicure. All right, one for one. Okay, looking good. Okay, all right. Awesome. I asked Robert, what you need more? A manicure, pedicure, or a facial? What do you have to say? Uh, um, Sure, since he's not happy with me right now from the last round. Um, probably said pedicure. Wow, are your feet open? No, they're all right, Ben. Wow. Wow, right, dog, she's right. <laughs> she's ugly feet. Well, from when you guys were here, you said your feet look like chicken. Do you, do you feel like chicken? Do you have long toenails? I have very short toes, actually. He told us he makes you keep your socks on while you guys are in, in bed. He's lying. He's lying? Oh, well, I don't know about that. All right, Courtney. I asked Ben, what are you wearing right now? Thongs, bikinis, or are you going commando? <laughs> what did he say? Thongs. Thongs? Mm -hmm. You're a thong girl? Yeah, depends on what I wear, but. All right, Ben. Thongs. All right, two for two. All right, all right. All right, Carlin. I asked him what you're wearing right now. Thongs, bikinis, or going commando? He definitely said thongs. 
I feel you, man. I, I don't, I don't feel you. Why, I don't have a picture of my ex-girlfriend there because there's something that wasn't there. You know, I mean, we broke up or something. I, no, no. Well, it's been close. I have a picture of my ex-girlfriend. Tatiana, wait, she's been a fresh prince. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, she was the supposed to place in my heart, so I'll keep that picture. <laughs> she's somebody famous, though. Like, is your husband, like, a baseball player or something like that? Is, is he famous like that? Or an actor? Well, you know, I mean, let's move. Maybe move actor. Move right along. Right right okay, Allison, if, um, there was one thing that he could take a jersey and put it on a highway in a box that's a hit me, what would it be? Well, how do you feel to learn? Probably wants to put the whole body in a box. But if I was to pick something, like, I don't know, body. Probably my mouth. Your mouth? Why do you have your mouth? You're mouthy. You are? I will. I will. I will. I will. Well, I don't really know how she got that answer, but <laughs> she somehow guessed it. I did say her mouth. <laughs> All right, the sixth and final question, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? All right, Colin. I asked Ben, what was, your, what was your last argument about? What did he say? We actually just had an argument right before we came to the show because I told you he dresses like a slob and he wanted to wear sweatpants and a t-shirt here, so <laughs> I had so much clothes. This is why she's my sweetheart. What the words? Like the words of the show. Of the show. Mm -hmm. We are something else. Somebody's <laughs> cheating. Well, uh, I asked, um, what was your last argument about? What was it about? I don't know if you said this, but it was tri pretty trivial. It was over a game of cards. A card game? T t t t tell us more. I want to hear about Looks this. Like I got a mountain bike. We played a um, new card game of spades with, with another couple. And he was mad because we were losing, so he was yelling at me. And getting oh, really like frustrated. Yeah, I didn't yell. I didn't yell. I can feel that. Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? There's so many more important things to yell at your girlfriend about. <laughs> Can you pick a car game, bro? What's, what's going on? Oh, no, man. Like I said before, earlier in your show, we have counseling <laughs> for any couple that needs it. So feel free. Like, it, it's paid for by Perfect Match. You don't have to pay for anything to show up. And maybe they can help you guys, okay? I'm looking to what I needed to. What did you say about that? What did you say? Actually, I said, I take too long to get ready. Mm-mm-mm. All right, Allison. Mm -hmm. I asked Rob, what was your last argument about? What did he say? Very recently, <laughs> on the way here. Um, I wasn't ready in time, so. Oh, yeah, but you, you take forever to get dressed. Not really, but I, today, I mean, I was kind of like freaking up to that tonight, on the way here. Are you the girl that's just trying to wear every outfit, standing in the mirror, posing in every which way, see how it looks? Sometimes, but aren't all girls like that sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> not all girls. Mm -hmm. Well, we can say about that. She's right. Today and every day, she takes too long to get ready. <laughs> <laughs> all right. During the break, we tied up the scores. And now it's time to find out who the real perfect match is. The real perfect match is Baden Courtney. Was there any doubt in your mind, Alvin? I was like, God, you're such a beautiful woman and Courtney. Oh, thank you for having me on this show. You two guys are playing my game. Where's my woman? I've been having. <sighs> thank you for tuning in to Perfect Match. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> I love it.